All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, here we are. We're going to try and run through this build pretty quickly. Basically, it's a radiation build. It doesn't involve using any yellow cake. It's pretty simple, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Basically, what we're going to be using here, we're going to be using a bunch of weapons with the um, with the 150 radiation element uh, while under 50% HP. And we're not going to be using a deathless. Um, we're going to be using ourselves a front loader here uh, with the shock element. Well, Mainly, you just want to have yourself a front loader. Uh, that way, you don't have to spec into thin red line, uh, which is uh, very important. Uh, we'll go ahead and actually look at the tree here. So, yes, uh, for Demolition Woman, we only go 5 out of 5 and then fire the Skagged in. Um, if you if you want to go uh, all the way down to Vampire, you can. Uh, but I find that you don't really need to do that. This build works pretty solidly without having to go that far into uh, Demolition Woman. Uh, as I've, I've, I've theorized it a lot with Means of Destruction, with Torque Cross Promotion. Um, and I have found that uh, running toward cross promotion it, it does get you a bit downed, especially if we are using something like the Q system here, uh, which is a very, very good assault rifle, even after it's nerfed. Um, well, the nerf is only for the uh, Q system uh, for auto bear, so you can't spawn an army of these anymore. Uh, but I'm starting to get sidetracked. Regardless, uh, the way we're going is we're going 5 out of 5 when the fire didn't skagged in, uh, mainly to help out our Sandhawk and our Kyozin. Um, and if our, our Q system, if you were using the Q system, uh, let's go ahead and go over here, bottomless mag. So the uh, big thing about bottomless mag is that we're not going into iron bank or forge. Uh, we're doing that so we can actually pro click, click pretty often here. Um, along with some for the road, we do want to grab this, uh, for our sand hog whenever we do get a burst down a boss, this helps out a lot, obviously. Uh, we are going going five out of five and scrappy for the extra weapon damages overall the fluidity that allows you uh whenever you have this perk equipped it's actually it's a super good perk especially with an extra added 30 percent gun damage very nice redistribution obviously five out of five cloud of lead max stoke of the embers just to have our incendiary damage to go along with our radiation scorching rpms we want to max this out for a crit damage uh, versus an offensive for lifesteal is very solid once again we don't actually have anything in the iron bank or match yet for that matter click click and send for the road Shield Retribution Tree. Uh, once again, so we're not since we're not spanking the Thin Red Line, we can go ahead and max out uh, Desperate Measures and Phallic Doctrine while it while allowing us to get Click Click and some for the Road and max out our Strappy, uh, which is very nice, which helps uh, just allows us to save points elsewhere and put them in other spots. So we also go have three out of five in the Vlad of Ingenuity instead of having to put the three in the Thin Red Line as before. Uh, we can max out our Drowning in Brass, max out our Phalanx Doctrine, and max out our Desperate Measures. Obviously get yourself some armored infantry for gun damage and damage reduction. Uh, full can of whoop ass when you hop into Iron Bear just so you can start recharging your shields. Uh, behind the Iron Curtain, if you want, you can pull these out and put them somewhere else. But I went ahead and throw them, uh, just threw them in here so our shield could uh, help, uh, be you know filled up and you know recharge rate will be quicker and it just helps other uh, shield stay up at all times we aren't running a deathless here uh but yeah once if you wanted to pull this out uh you can but this is just what we are using for the most part and once again here's the weapons um our kyosin or kyosin how you want to say it uh, amazing new mayhem 10 weapon uh you can get this at captain tron uh, definitely farmed for this weapon i'm using the consecutive hits one not even using the radiation one i'll probably make a, vi a, a video uh, whenever i do get my hands on the times two 150 radiation chaos and so keep the eyes for, uh, on the lookout for that uh recursion is amazing for mobbing uh another gun you could put in here would be a reflux uh reflux or brainstormer would work really well then we have another a really good weapon in the redistributor to help um, chain more damage across the board along with the 150 rad plus having this a uh, redistributor with some scorching rpms and click click and scrappy just allows for this thing to do a lot of damage especially with the russian offensive giving us lifesteal then our sand top is our main damage uh, towards bosses i don't really explain to this uh, to you guys why this is so good uh, it's very solid uh, we went over our shield already on the front loader that way you can uh, not use three in three skill points in the red line uh, Hunter Seeker, mainly, this is used to proc our Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge. Uh, our Pearl has 50 max size and regen. If you would like to go with a Victory Rush or Snowdrift, uh, you can, but you will lose a little bit on the damage, especially since you'll be able to stack your Pearl almost all the time. And then our last thing, but not least, our Blood Letter. Uh, you want any Blood Letter that does not spec in a Thin Red Line. Uh, so anything that goes into desperate measures or phallic doctrine is what you're looking for. Uh, any good passives. Uh, the splash uh, passive uh, helps with the Sandhawk, uh, Kyosin, and then if we were to be using a uh, Q system, that help. And then the weapon damage and weapon crit just helps out everything, uh, which is why I've chosen this one, even if it, even if it is a level 53. But yeah, guys, with that being said, uh, here's the modifiers uh, that we were playing on uh, through the gameplay. Uh, buddy system ticked off, Helio Avenger. 
and loot explosion. So yeah, even with a uh, ticked off, we're still we are still able to put some massive damage. And these aren't even that good of modifiers, honestly. Uh, you want to probably go with uh, Slayer, not ticked off, and uh, I would say just any not and no death. I don't like the death modifier. <laughs> that's just my personal preference. Anyways, though, guys, that's gonna just about wrap up the video. Uh, hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this video helps you guys out. And yeah, if you're on PSN, I can help you out with uh, some of the gear. Uh, yeah, my name's Cree, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, fellas.